Okay, uh, we are back to play Wander Home by Jay Dragon. Uh, we got together two weeks ago to play this for the first time and we came back. So it's very <laughs> fun. I would love to hear from each of you um, what you enjoyed the most. I will say for me, um, the character creation was awesome. So much so that I almost wanted to just be a new character every single time we play it. But mm. we will continue with our old ones for today. Uh, Chad, what's your favorite thing? Oh, I, I just love the massive change of pace from a lot of other role-playing games I've played. And I've played a lot. I've played dozens. But just that it's, you know, there's there's no dice. There's mm -hmm. no numbers or calculations to worry about. And you just get to immerse yourself in it and have mm -hmm. a good time. Yeah. Jesse. Um, I similarly I like the the pace is basically what you make of it. Uh, so many games and they're they're great games, but they uh, they propel you forward generally. Mm -hmm. You're not being propelled forward in a game like say D and D. It uh, depending on the group, obviously, often feels like nothing is happening. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and this one, nothing happens, and it's delightful. It's amazing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, Taryn, what was your favorite thing? So, yeah, I'm Taryn. Um, and I think for me, my favorite thing was not having to, also not having to worry about the calculations, just, you know, mm. play the character and then even get to kind of be a part of the world as well. Um, so it's not just... You know, I, I feel like it, the world belongs more to all of us mm. than just one person's creation that we're all kind of stepping into. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> uh, Alante. Uh, I really just like seeing what everybody was doing, all the choices everybody was making, and just it was really cool seeing people just ah uh, you know just just be a different character like on the spot and just like that's okay like mm. i know that can be uh, anxiety a lot of anxiety for some people but it was cool to see yeah yeah jumping into play npcs and stuff was such a cool trick i'm excited to see what happens tonight so um we can start maybe by introducing the characters that we made last week um, there are 15 different playbooks that you can choose from. Um, so maybe we can just kind of go through the actual playbook um, and describe each of our characters. Does anyone want to go first or should I jump in since I am leading? Go ahead and jump in. Okay. <laughs> uh, I am playing with the Shepherd playbook uh, and I'm playing... Donna Shello, a turtle shepherd who um, is both focused and reliable, I think. Um, and I'm no longer young or hurried, which I like the idea of a hurried turtle, but no more. I've embraced the slow pace of life. Um, as far as things that describe my look, I have patchwork overalls that I wear backwards. So the, the pocket is on my shell. And I think that I have, oh yeah, I have a bug calling whistle, which I haven't gotten to use yet. So maybe that will come into play here. And an old fashioned pipe, because why would you play Wander Home without a pipe? <laughs> um, and then I have a herd of bumbles. I'm a shepherd of bumblebees, which that's also one of my favorite things here in Wander Home since we are all playing creatures and critters. Uh, the animals of the world are bugs, <laughs> which is so cute. Um, and we made five bumbles for me. I didn't keep the sheet with their names. So perhaps bumblebees have short lives and uh, I will need your help to create five new bumbles. <laughs> Hercules has to stay alive. Like, yeah. 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 He was the runt. He was the runt. He has to stay okay. alive. Well, if he was the runt, then maybe he was the youngest and, mm. and has endured. If you remember your bumble, they can totally stay alive. Pip. <laughs> Pip was the first one, I think. Oh, yeah. Pip. Yes. I think Pip was... Well, 
Chief was thing. the leader. I remember that. Yes. Chief, Pip, Hercules, Taryn. Do you remember your Bumble? No pressure. I don't. I'm pretty sure Taryn was chief. Oh, yeah. Chief. Oh, yeah, wait. that was mine, actually. I was terrible, and I think I said something like Sharon. <laughs> I love it. Yes, Sharon. <laughs> uh, and then the last Bumble will be... Uh, I'm Donna Shello, so it'll be Michelangelo. Oh, we missed an opportunity to name them all after Teenage Mutant Ninja. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, yeah. Who who would like to introduce their character next? Give me half a second. I'm gonna go. I got my grab. Up. I can do that. Okay. Um, I am Ruin, an owl, who is a teacher. The teacher is my playbook. Um, Ruin uh, cannot be spry or renowned anymore, um, but he is very talkative and creative. Uh, he has a satchel of books, a dusty blazer, a comfortable hat, and a journal full of notes. Uh, he has a, a pen that is very important to him because an ambitious former student who is now an academic gave it to him. But there's also a promise he made to a demon with a catfish head and I tr he tries not to think about <laughs> uh, and he generally teaches uh, things that are historical in context so uh, history uh, particularly controversial history uh, philosophy through Socratic seminars and radical and rebellious politics <laughs> um, and he is a, a saw wet owl he is very very tiny uh, by far the smallest one in the group. <laughs> so cute. And Alante and I were kind of a package deal. Uh huh. Uh huh. Do you wanna do you wanna start us off? Yeah, sure. Um, I am playing Dawn. I am a firelight. Uh, I'm a possum. I even wore my possum shirt today. <laughs> Show us. Remember, which is a possum. Oh, oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, what do I have written down? Dawn tries to be endlessly patient and here for everybody uh, and knows they can't be consistently correct or everywhere at once. They wear a wide brimmed hat that covers their eyes. They have a book of small rituals and they wear patchwork work pants. Uh, Dawn's firefly, Aurora, is a lightning dancer that fell from the sky into their hands. They are miraculous, and Donna is not quite sure that they're actually a firefly. Mm. Then, let's see, I keep one light lit and one that died out long ago. The light that is still lit is a pack of smokes connected to my poetic love. Or sorry, a pack of smokes that reminds me of sitting on a porch with my poetic love. And then the one that has gone out is the passion in my heart that burned for the rebellion. Mm. Oh, sad face. <laughs> uh, I will be playing Dusk. Uh, Dusk is a tiger, but inverse, so mostly black with orange stripes. Uh, Dusk is a good judge of character and is enough. Uh, they are <laughs> not consistently correct and they are not strong and manly. <laughs> more fun <laughs> uh they have shining eyes that pierce through darkness uh a fun deck of playing cards and warm and comfy gloves um their flyer their firefly is orion uh they led they led dusk out at the darkest moment and they've uh, stuck around ever since uh and and orion's confident yet pensive it's a it's a cool mix <laughs> The light I keep lit is the passion in my heart that burned for the rebellion, or what I think is the rebellion. And, you know, Dusk is really young. He doesn't know a whole lot of what happened before. And the light that died long ago is a rusted iron lantern that the mom, my mom carried before me. Hmm. I love the, this, this pairing of the two of you, that little, little Dusk is still excited about the rebellion, but the older Dawn is like, no. <laughs> that's great uh taryn do you have your character sheet ready i do um 
so I am playing uh, Thierry, the terrier poet. Um, and they are dressed in practical pants, uh, plaid pants at that. <laughs> um, and they got a cloak full of pockets. Uh, they're carrying a battered briefcase with uh, like a lot of their, you know, writings and stuff. Um, and from all the writing they do, their hands are stained with ink. And you're playing a Scottish terrier, is that correct? It might as well be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. it can be whatever. That's what I had remembered, but it, that could be wrong. No, that works, actually. I, I never quite declared any given specific mm. terrier, so it could be <laughs> any That's number of I was things. Fixing. Yeah. So that would fit with that description, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, their care is eloquent, observant, and occasionally overwrought. Uh, they're often taken for pretentious and formal, but they're actually pretty much casual and, well, at times a bit obscure. Um, <clears throat> there's kind of three folds to their writing. Um, all the trees, the bugs, stars, you know, everybody, everything that makes up the world around them uh, is kind of the basis of what they're writing, the song cycle that they're working mm. on. Ooh. Um, and kind of a metaphorical underpinning, I guess I would say, would be like all the seasons and the changes in the seasons and how that changes them and their world. Oh, and man. a fallen star that has uh, visited them often uh, for quite a while in their dreams, um, that has had a strong ha uh, influence in their work. Um, they read the last basically the last thing that their mentor had ever written um they read that back to front on a regular mm -hmm. basis because it reminds them of einar's their mentor einar's life and kind of the things they've learned from einar and there's a guidebook that they carry a little tiny guidebook that some that a uh, local bookseller gave them before they left uh, and they have that memorized to a t mm. nice oh man you mentioned seasons we have not yet touched the seasons of wander home no do we want to bring that in this game or another game we can do um, it now has anyone looked at it recently? Um, <laughs> all, all I know is if we transition a season, we effectively level up. Um, mm. That's the only thing that I'm really super familiar with. We get to add uh, during each seasonal holiday. Okay. Well, we could maybe look at the first season and just kind of have that as a frame of reference for where we are now. Um, and then see whenever we want to level up we can do that and change the season. Uh, I think that that is on page, looks like about 190, if anybody is looking in their books. Um, Till Soil is the first season within the leap cycle. There we go. Yeah. Does someone want to read? that and yeah, we can sure. kind of figure out what that does i can handle that mm -hmm. uh, till soil is the first month of the year in the season of leap after chill has ended and when the ground is just warm enough for planting oh i am glad we're doing this that makes me get some like actual spring vibes mm -hmm. that i'm digging <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's uh, cold as heck in here so yeah <laughs> so yeah for sure uh choose one that this place lacks uh the others are all present 
So wherever we're going either lacks fertile soil, constant and challenging work, gentle rain, or the occasional chilly day. You gotta keep gentle rain. Yeah. Oh, rain is everything. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like constant and challenging work could could go out the window personally, but. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So that would leave us with fertile soil, gentle rain, and the occasional chilly day. That sounds yeah. delightful. Yeah, oh man, no. Jesse, you're in dusk. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask that here. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Like I didn't have a background and I wanted one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then we are to choose three to four signs of the month found in this place. Um, we have a rhythmic working song, piles of quickly melting snow, muddy pant legs, tattered decorations left over from New Year's, butterflies up above, fluffy clouds, bugs running through the fields, lovesick teenagers, wide-brimmed hats, a sewing festival praising the fertility god, a positive outlook, or something else of our own invention. So yeah, I feel like I already have a wide-brimmed hat covered. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this yeah. is your favorite season. Um, oh. I was actually about to, uh, like, based on where we ended, I might turn things in your direction with what was kind of handed to us, so that might work out well. Um... Or at least that was the idea I had. Uh, mm -hmm. So maybe wide-brimmed hats is good. Mm -hmm. I would request muddy pant legs mm -hmm. uh, with the with that gentle rain. Oh yes. The 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 child like uh, dusk probably would love butterflies up above. Something to stare at and chase. All oh right. yeah, perfect. Definitely. Oh yeah. Any Definitely. other thoughts? Think that's great okay three is good then and i think that is all we do for that what else do we see every time till soil rolls around ask the table do you know anyone here mark a sprout if anyone in the group says yes and three sprouts if everyone's is yes uh, once five sprouts are marked that means it's a cold leap phenomenon this year mm. uh, when frostbite lingers past its welcome and the muddy ground is too cold for plants, elders will sit on their back porches and mutter about how something like this hasn't happened in a very long time. Skip fire top this year. The cold weather causes a pitiful harvest. Uh, the cold weather lasts until the end of monsoon when the sun parade brings uh, some much needed warmth. Until then, everyone can do all of the following. Spend a token to point out a crack in a frozen facade or get a token whenever you say we don't have enough to share. That's if we trigger that event, which uh, I'm pretty sure I don't know anyone here. I don't either. Yeah. Are we, we're still in my hometown. Yeah. <laughs> so you know somebody. Well, are we or have we moved to the next? Um, we'll, we'll, I guess we create the next location and then that's where we're going to mm -hmm. end up. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um, Before we get to that, can I just rehash the things that we have? I'm making notes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, what's the one, is it uh, constant and challenging work is the pl thing this place lacks? I am just going to throw yes. it in the, yes. in the um, do, 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 chat. I make notes. Here you go. Yes. Want to come up, Russ? Thank you. All right. Um, <laughs> so then we will be going to a new location, um, but do we want to? brief recap of last session sure um so we uh went to the reliquary of corsai which is where dusk is from uh, it is a monastery that was on a hillock near a lake uh the lake had beautiful water and uh had a giant spirit koi swimming in it and there was a legend about a warthog captain uh, which formed our conflict, and we went to investigate that. Uh, the lake washed up a bottle, uh, which was one of its abilities to wash something up on shore. And we found a note pleading for help. Uh, the two firelights, uh, fireflies, worked in tandem to create sort of a, uh, a lighthouse effect. 
and the ship came to shore and they were uh, they had been trapped in like the spirit realm I suppose for quite some time um, and they were very happy and we had a nice little party um, and uh, I believe um, the warthog someone brought up that um, if you go into the spirit realm you come back with something what did the warthog captain get and that was where we ended Oh. Okay. This is a good jumping off point. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's that. And I know that there was a place that we all were excited for last time. I don't know if you want me to bring that up or if we want to just start from Which scratch. one was that? I'm curious. Uh I we came to the city with a bunch of like uh little rat merchants. Oh yeah. And we were That's... all excited by the idea that they came from this like underground neon foresty like marketplace thing. that's where we'd come from that's where we came from we Never can mind. totally we can revisit that at some yeah. point because that <laughs> does sound cool mm-hmm. um but uh i was playing the oh, warthog captain right. yeah so i was what did thinking, you bring back <clears throat> yeah well we found this compass on deck and uh we had we had no idea where where it came from it didn't belong to anybody but it didn't point anywhere until it started pointing at the lights. So um, it, it's what helped us come ashore. Uh, but now it's not really, well, it's pointing still at the lights and it's pointing to the two fireflies. Oh, a spirit compass. We, it's like, uh, it's, you can have it as thanks for for uh, helping helping us come to shore after so long. Ooh, yay. Uh, thank you. Awesome. It's real interesting. Mm-hmm. Is there something special about your firelights? Oh. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're both special to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, mine is probably not actually a firefly. It's not? Then what is it? It's a lightning dancer. Oh. I've never seen one of these. I can't believe I didn't notice all this time. Well, I mean, it it looks, Aurora looks like a regular firefly. What makes her a a lightning dancer? What did you call her? Oh, she literally flew out of the sky beyond (laughs) the kind of trails off looking up towards the sky during a lightning storm. And I, I, I suppose it should be obvious that Dusk's Firefly is special. It's just a Ryan. I mean, he's a little different, but you know. Well, why not? uh, Why not show them the compass and see what they do? Good idea. Hey, Ryan, Aurora. Man, is it like the sort of thing that as they get closer to the compass, it just like starts to shake? I'm I'm thinking it just instead of pointing at them, it points somewhere else, wherever mm. we're supposed to go next. Mm. Ah. Oh, That's nice a conceit. Good idea. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So does that mean we're creating our next destination? Yeah. I suppose so. I believe we might. Uh, now let me find that again. Right. We need to pick three natures, right? Um, mm. it, since this is our second location, I think it's a little different. We pick um, between one of six, and then it breaks down from there. So okay. we start with, yeah, comfortable or verdant or liminal or sprawling or lonely or desolate. Or we roll for it. We could. Mm. A six-sided die will get us there. I have no dice with me. Yeah. Do you want me to roll? 
Sure, yeah. go for it. This came out of a cube of soap. Oh, right. Your <laughs> <ooze>. What? <laughs> Wait. Oh, right. Uh, there's Same. a company called Bugbear Bubbles, and they make gelatinous cube soaps that are full of dice. Mm. That's awesome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and the like, the wrapper around them is uh, written up as in the kind of style of a stat block. Oh, fun. <laughs> wow. Wow. They're yeah, quite audience. the thing. Yeah. <laughs> they're quite the thing. The the only problem is you'll be able to see it that like the ink got pulled out of some of them. Oh, okay. Uh, because of I think because of how I removed it, because I kind of was like, oh, it's nearly out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh so if you get if you ever get one, don't do that. <laughs> that is oh, like no. a test of patience. <laughs> anyway, I rolled a five. Five. We're going some lonely. lonely. Ooh. What I want. So Ooh. Ooh. I was hoping for a mirage or like a mirror or something. So well, do you want to pick one of those? They're both yeah. in there. Or we could roll again. I want um uh, about to choose because we choose now three of these, right? And then one of them could be metaphor or any of them could be metaphorical or real. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I say if somebody feels strongly, let's choose them. I'm feeling I, I yeah, like I'm feeling mirage or mirror personally. I like mirror. I feel like that could be interesting. It's, it's okay. so weird, right? Yeah. yeah. I was leaning yeah. towards that, but I was just like, don't just <laughs> All right, so well, we're going to a mirror. Wanted, do you want to read the description for the mirror? Yes. Mirror. A mirror is a place that reflects you back onto yourself. This place can always describe what it looks back. Describe what looks back. <laughs> uh, reflect back something someone didn't want to see. And ask, what is it about your reflection that unnerves you? And give them a token. All right, so let's choose two aesthetic elements. Uh, we have glassy water, salt flats, perfect calmness, scratches in the reflection, the sensation of an unfinished world, your doppelganger, something else of your own invention. This is crazy weird. I love it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would like to propose we go full tilt, tilt and pick a doppelganger. Okay. Oh okay. yeah, that could be fun. <gasps> is this where at least Orion came from? Is he like a firefly <gasps> doppelganger? Or maybe Phoebe. you guys are just doppelgangers of each other. <gasps> dun dun dun! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, you no. like arrive and everybody has a doppelganger except the two I, of you. <laughs> oh, that would be so weird! I love it. <laughs> I thought didn't Orion oh. hatch from the egg stones on, mm-hmm. on the shore mm-hmm. that like hatch every hundred years or something like that? Mm-hmm. That's what we think, but mm-hmm. I, uh, Ryan came to me in my darkest, in they led me out of danger in my darkest moment and have stuck with me ever since. So I, I don't know, mm-hmm. but there are legends that it happens once, but what did we say? Like once every thousand years, a dark light mm-hmm. is born. Yeah, um, like that. Who wants to pick the second instead of going? Scratches in the reflection. That's a good one. That works. Uh, Something's trying to get out. Or someone doesn't want to see their reflection, so they scratched it. Or someone's trying to get in. Or a distortion Mm -hmm. of your reflection. Yeah, distortion, mm. definitely. Yeah. Because maybe something is trying to, yeah, come through. Yeah. Well, because I think like the classic, kind of the more like literary classical thing of a doppelganger is is not necessarily some like villain or demon that's taking your form it is essentially just another you Mm -hmm. yeah uh that is in some way gets to you um Mm -hmm. it's an existential thing i think more than a yeah i'm an evil monster that wants Mm -hmm. to take your place (laughs) yeah no one wants to look too closely at themselves Mm. okay so we have picked your doppelganger as an aesthetic element and scratches the reflection. Mm-hmm. Now let's choose one folklore about this place. 
the march of the countless footsteps, the ghost whose name cannot be spoken, the very edge of the world itself, or something of our own invention. Hmm. These are so good. <laughs> These are really good. Yeah. I think we did ghosts last time, so I think not that one. Okay. Um, but one of the other ones is totally cool. What were the other two? Uh, the March of the Countless Footsteps and the Very Edge of the World Itself. Oh my goodness. I'm feeling the last one, to be honest, really. I'll second sure. that one. The yeah, Very I'm Edge of the World Itself? Yes. Mm. okay we're going to the end of the world all right um so i love that we're going to this lonely place at the mm-hmm. edge of the world as spring rolls around what or as the equivalent oh. of spring rolls Ooh. <laughs> mm. well i mean we do have some like pretty um morose characters like i think both donicello and don have like been through some shit yeah. But maybe it is like this will be like a turning point for them, maybe. I mean, leading to Morose, I was gonna suggest the graveyard as our second place. Yes. <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> All right. I just um, realized, Trisha, are we allowed to swear on the stream? Well, That's- I just did. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. it's late enough that it shouldn't matter, right? Yeah. All yeah. right. So, do, have we accidentally like are we accidentally building like the most goth as fuck? <laughs> location. <laughs> you, you know what? It's what we're all feeling, so it's fine. Yeah, it works. Yeah. All right. So the great. If it is goth, it's by accident. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We're making decisions here. I think it's completely on purpose, but I'm all I'm all for it. <laughs> All right, uh, so we've got the graveyard, uh, which has actions of describing the weight of the past, show someone uh, disrespecting, show someone disrespecting the history of this place, or ask, will you tell us a story no one else could tell and give them a token? Mm. Ooh, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh my God, this is so cool. Um, now we have two aesthetic elements. We have scattered cairns, melted candles, gravestones, mysterious lights, deep and profound silence, an old forgotten friend, now dead, or something else of your own invention. Oh. So wait, this is part of the place that also has a mirror? Mm. Yep. And these things can be literal or metaphorical. So the mirror so, feels almost more metaphorical. We're probably not looking at a literal mirror. Well, um, now I'm feeling the opposite, honestly. I'm feeling ooh. like the mirror, it's a literal mirror world, but maybe the doppelgangers are of paths unchosen for you guys ooh. or like a life not lived for the younger ones. I could see ooh. that. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Like <laughs> a graveyard of opportunities. Yeah, mm. yeah. Because I was already feeling like maybe, maybe Dusk's doppelganger is like not playful, and like he's gonna go try to play, and then Dusk gets all annoyed. Mm. Mm-hmm. So now, now it's like maybe that person's just like old and doesn't, you know, is not able to. Okay, you know, there's stuff to play around with there. Mm-hmm. So. I feel like deep and profound silence fits then, and we stay away yeah. from the literal graveyard kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then maybe even mysterious lights. Yeah. I would love mysterious lights. All right. <laughs> it fits the fire lights. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. And then we have a folklore. Um, <gasps> I know. Oh. The candle and council <laughs> and their warning. The day the dead danced with us. The Mist Rabbit and her rictus grin, or something of our own invention. I kind of love the day the dead dance with us. Mm -hmm. Because it'll, Mm -hmm. I think it will end positively like that. Got it. Yeah. But sorry, I'm like not trying to convince you. Y'all, y'all, y'all. That's totally cool with me. Um, What is our third location? We have to pick a third? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, then why not? Mirage, then get, go full tilt. All right, with this uh, existential crisis, <laughs> <laughs> like there's another kind. No. I'm gonna have a good time. 
Don is not going to have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I can read this one. All right, please. please. A mirage is a place that doesn't really exist. This place can always describe something too good to be true, show someone lost in their folly, or decide if something in front of someone is real and then ask, do you believe what you see? Give them a token if they're wrong. Uh, we can choose two aesthetic elements. There can be two vivid flowers, two shining rampart ramparts, two verdant plant life, two satisfying food, two beautiful music, two friendly memory of a person, or something else of your own invention. And uh, this is two, like, very, not like the number. Mm -hmm. I kind of like two vivid flowers in this metaphorical graveyard the, the yeah and the i could see very easily tierra being drawn in with the two beautiful music of the place mm. now how does that play with the like utter silence uh that's right yeah well, well no, no because that's if... the mirage Mm. Oh. well and it's silence can sometimes be like it's not without noise it's there's nothing except just this soft beautiful music playing right mm -hmm. and it's oh. so silent that it just yeah too beautiful or it could be the only thing that breaks the silence occasionally mm. Mm. yeah it just says a deep and profound silence not utter silence so it is just oh. like maybe that alternating between yeah and then something very beautiful now I'm, now I'm feeling the opposite of a thunderstorm, right? Where, like, the world has all of this music and stuff, but, like, when lightning strikes, it's that silence. It's not a crackle. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. Yes! Yes! That's, That's very super good. cool. All right. <laughs> um, and then we can choose one folklore about the Mirage. There is the Palace of the Saccharine Dead. This is making me say a lot of words that I know how to read, but not how to say. <laughs> Saccharine? Saccharine Dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, the City of Restless Dreams. Or the Emperor's False Promise to His Adoring Lover. Or something else of our own invention. I feel like the first one just ties in really well with the idea of the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Who does the second too? Well, with the doppelgangers, right? Like any of false dreams. The interesting thing about the word saccharin, right, is because it's like too sweet or mm -hmm. too pleasant. It's oh. uh, mm. like, <gasps> yeah. like we're going to be oh. seeing these versions of things that appear really appealing, but it's mm -hmm. ugh, there's something too sweet about them. Excessively sweet or it's sentimental. Too uh, perfect. I have I have a sort of idea. Like okay. the doppelgangers instead of. Instead of my like old like lost choices idea, that they're like these hyper idealistic versions mm -hmm. of us, and we feel like we're the evil doppelganger. Mm, yeah. yeah, we feel like we're the scratched surface. Now we're yeah. goth. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Just going full tilt on this. Yeah. Excellent. So, what does this place look like? Like we have very much the ideas of things that are happening. But as we approach, like, what are we seeing? We've journeyed a long way. It's at the end of the world. I love the idea that it looking like the mirror world, where like the sky is the ground and the ground is the sky kind of a thing. Mm. Oh, yeah. I also kind of like the idea of, because it's, it's not just the saccharine dead, it's the palace of the saccharine dead. Mm -hmm. So, so I like, like the idea of this, like, misty waste i'm describing what's behind me um, yeah no <laughs> this this misty kind of wasteland that as we kind of get to the area we are currently find ourselves like the mist kind of forms the like shape or impression of a palace or something like that mm. it's like almost illusion almost real we can't quite make it out mm -hmm. yeah mm. and you know it's it's solid until it's not. Yeah. I'm also picturing like a M MC Escher feel to it. I was going like, to say that too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <Nice>. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like we think we're getting closer and all of a sudden it looks much further away. And then all of a sudden it's right in front of us. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Tell me how this also sounds like we are ascending, descending, however you want to say it from the sky ground to the top earth. Oh, geez. <laughs> is that, is that too, is that too <laughs> vexing? <laughs> You'll just have to give me five seconds every time. <laughs> okay, no worries. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it, it would definitely feel very disorienting, mm. I, especially for our owl friend. Like anything that could potentially fly, I think would be very unnerved by this. It, it, it's familiar, but wrong all at the same time, <laughs> I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. And what kind of creatures live here if any are there like caretakers of this place oh that's cool yeah we need to figure out a kin see i feel like this could be a like a pilgrimage spot Mm -hmm. so uh i don't think anyone lives here but people come here Mm. and they've like left little tokens and little things Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. What if the people are, what if those people are the ones making the scratches? Mm. What does that mean? Are these literal scratches? Because that could be metaphorical. Yep. Mm. I think we haven't reached the the mirror, mirror part yet. That must be like within the palace. Mm. Mm. I feel very intrigued by so this yeah. compass has brought us here. Mm-hmm. To some extent, this feels like the end of our journey, but we're doing it very <laughs> early. Yeah. And like what that brings up in our characters and to to be kind of confronted with some deep goth stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Well, we don't know until we get there. Yeah, that's true. All right. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Did we decide on kith or kin? Sorry, uh, not particularly. Just the I suggested that people only visit here. Like this is in a place that people live. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I think there's room for if we're going through. Perhaps there is someone somewhere. Mm-hmm. But yes, it is not like a lived-in place. Mm. Can I suggest uh, a local fauna then? Okay. Ooh. I some, think some sort of pale moths. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, there oh, are. We had butterflies in the air as part of the season thing. Oh, so yeah. here they're yeah. all moths instead of butterflies. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Mirror butterflies. Oh, mm-hmm. and they would be attracted to the mysterious lights. This is all well coming together. It's all coming Look together. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> this place is really beautiful. I don't. I'm not scared of it. I want to go to there. It's like eerie beautiful, but it's. Sounds like you two are well adjusted. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. Yeah. Here's a question. Is anyone from the monastery coming on this pilgrimage? Mm. Well, where did the compass point? Did it point over the lake or not? Maybe we got a ride. I feel like it should go over the spirit lake. Yeah. The spiritual place. Mm-hmm. Question. Yes. That would make sense. Instead of this being the intended location, is this like a a part of that journey? Oh, maybe it's on the way. Ooh, there oh, you I go. I love that so much. Yeah. We kind of, <laughs> I love that. We kind of find ourselves in this place. Mm-hmm. Like maybe. Yeah. After- we're. After we maybe nod off to have a nap while we sail across the lake. Oh. oh, that's even better. Yeah. Shared I dream world that. caused by the spirit lake. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my oh. gosh. I yes. love this place. <laughs> yes. I don't even care. <laughs> yeah. And narratively, that makes so much sense that it's like, okay, you're starting this journey. Confront yourself before you go any further. Oh. Yeah. Yes. And I conveniently heard. explains exactly. why the other players might not be here. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I love it. This was all intentional. Yeah, Chicory, Chicory's too self-assured for this. That's oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is all they intentional. would even fall asleep. They would just be darting around the boat when they're all in the stream world. <laughs> I mean, you'd think Don being a possum would be awake, but nope. 
Nope. Nope. <laughs> it was a long I mean, journey. You're a possum named Don. You're. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> Taryn, did you have any ideas or things you wanted to drop in or include? Um, yeah, I think I like the idea, like we've been asleep and, you know, we, we kind of wake up into this shared dream space mm-hmm. that, you know, we're, we're riding across this lake and yeah. Mm-hmm. So where okay. do we want to start? Oh, with a yawn, definitely. Mm-hmm. Just a... <laughs> Mm. Uh, it's not uh, actually that hard to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Weren't we on a boat? I thought we were. Oh. Where huh? are my bumbles? Mm. My bumbles are not with us, and this is very distressing to me. Oh no! Are the fireflies with us? Orion, Orion, Orion! Oh, hi. Oh, yeah. Right here. Okay. You scared yep. me. Aurora is not. Oh. No. Oh no. So we only have the dark light firefly. Oh no. Okay. Yes. Only oh. goth fireflies here. <laughs> yeah. Wait. 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 I want to counter that. I I want to say, is Orion dark light in this plane? I think I feel like that's up to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's got to be it's got to be a, I think it's got to be reversed. Yeah, yeah. Bright white. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Or yeah. are you thinking what you're seeing is is Ooh. Dawn's and it's actually mm. Yeah, I think it's Aurora. And Dawn is looking for a Dawn is looking for a bright light. But you can't find it because you got to look in the darkness. <gasps> Metaphors! <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> um, uh, 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 Ryan, 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 where's the Ryan? Ryan is probably like, yeah, flying all around you. Like, I'm right here. Oh, hey, buddy. And then Dust looks at his hands like, oh, what happened? His 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 stripes and his other colors swapped. Mm. Like regular Whoa. tiger now. What? What's going on? Did you guys paint me? Why'd you paint me? Something no. is afoot. We wouldn't play that kind of trick. Mm. I write. You don't want me painting. <laughs> <laughs> you know if I painted you. <laughs> <laughs> It wouldn't be this good. Well, what's going on? Where's Aurora? I don't know. Ryan, where's Aurora? Is Orion distressed? Yeah. Or is this this feel? Orion is normally confident and pensive, so he's mm. erratic and insecure. Mm. Ryan, oh buddy, oh come here. Okay. And unless I'm mistaken, we're standing in clouds. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Oh, yeah. I don't, um, I don't like this. And the ground oh, is up there. Is weird. Uh, 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 stomach kind of lurches. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, this is weird. Oh, uh, I see. I see something ahead. Maybe it's more solid than this. Uh, okay. Be first. Uh, for the first time ever since you guys have known me, uh, I pop in all my legs and head and roll really <laughs> fast in that direction. Oh Ooh. my god, it's amazing! Dawn, I think, hops up on you and kind of runs along <laughs> to like help propel. Yes. You, you know wow. that thing that cats do, like to their water bowls, which is like. It, it's like that the whole way for for dusk. <laughs> I'm 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 thinking I, I haven't flown in a very long time, but maybe I feel like I can fly here. Mm-hmm. So I'll I'll follow suit flying, which is really weird. Mm-hmm. Oh. And Thierry? Um. Okay. Let's see if I can do this without 
crawling through. <laughs> I okay. want to play the Mirage for a moment. Mm-hmm. Ooh, right. Uh, going to take an action. I'm going to describe something too good to be true. I mean, me and Donicello roll right past it in our haste, but I think the rest of you see what looks like a sturdy boat that could get you through this sea of fog. Oh, hey. Oh, look at that. What? There's a boat. But with not Which swimming. Tierra starts running towards. Tierra, no! I suppose I will land on the prow. You fall through. Oh no. And it disappears. Oh. And a, a large moth flies Ooh. out from where it was. Uh, are all the mirages am I, moths? Am I on the moth now? Moths are big <laughs> in this world. That's up to you. How quick are you? I yeah. am I uh, I I land and then it starts and I'm like ah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, have uh, you seen that gif of a seagull riding a seagull? Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> the thing. Yeah. A seagull so, riding a what? Right. A seagull. Forgive me. I'm gonna look this up real quick. Yeah. Oh, it's actually. <laughs> oh, so if uh, if it's going the same direction I am, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna use this to my advantage and just chill yeah. out on the big white moth. We oh even know which way God. we're going. Are you <laughs> serious? <laughs> Okay. Right. Wow. Okay. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Right. Life is complete. <laughs> now I I'm going I to watch that. the gif. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Where are you All going, right. Ruin? <laughs> Ruin? 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 Ruin. 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 Sort of like Ruin, but a little bit of a, a little bit of edge in the middle. Ruin. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, Around. okay, There's where I figured it out, <laughs> wherever this one's going, apparently, <laughs> yeah. yes, we'll try to follow you. I think at much greater speed, you approach the object in the distance. What is it? What do you see? Myself, yeah, what do I see. Mm. You're you're right. You're flying. Yeah. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Um, I think, and this is where we'll probably see in the distance, in the very, very far distance, some sort of structure, a very large palace-like structure. Is it something to do with the rebellion? I would know. Um, is it? Let me see. Yeah, is, is it a, a palace or a castle or something that actually exists in the what we will call the waking world? <laughs> okay, okay. But um, in a mirage. Yeah. Version. Given my knowledge of history and of the rebellion in particular, mm-hmm. uh, let's go with uh, yes, it does look like a um, uh, it looks like the the palace of of a of a tyrant that fell looks mm. like it not quite but very similar mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. did it belong to the rebellion or whatever we it was belong to the yeah. belong to the tyrants so what the rebellion was fighting against mm. all right uh i guess i'll i'll roll to a stop after a distance that I anticipated. Had I seen this, or that we were just like rolling and going, and now we, it's still far away. I think you saw something in the distance that we were rolling towards, mm-hmm. but I don't think he had specifics. Okay. I think, I think Dawn is going to come barreling down at you like a cat on wood floors and slide into you. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! 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 Ruin's gone. Uh, I pop back out and taken aback for a second. Huh? Uh, what? Where what did... do you mean, Ruin's gone? 
um, uh, uh, he, he got on a, on, a, on, a, on a boat that was actually a moth and then he started flying even though he was already flying and then he's going to this thing that I don't know where it's going to go and I don't know what's going on anymore. It's okay. We'll get through this. Okay. After getting thrown from Don, from his, or their ride atop Donashello, Don <laughs> has gone oh. into the, like, <laughs> the awesome, okay. like, Sorry, Don. Okay. Uh, oh, man, everybody's so nervous. I b- bring out my bug whistle, and I blow it, and it's just, like, this kind of really calming single note. Well, Coincidentally, moths are bugs, so I feel like it takes a turn and comes back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, I told you we'd be okay. Rune's coming now with a new friend. Wait, how are you doing that? Um, I might be playing, what did we call it? I'm going to play, was it the Mirage? Uh, I think Jesse was the Mirage, but I oh, think no. you could both play it. Oh, I'm not for... currently the Mirage. So no. Okay. Yes. Uh, it, I'm not sure if it's going to count as the Mirage or the Graveyard, but I know we were talking about the sound. Mm. Somehow that that note is still going on, even though you stopped playing. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then I release. <laughs> so that's the two yeah. beautiful music is just mm. a whistle. Mm. A single clear note. Oh, then. Sorry. On oh, I'm just shaking my whistle. <laughs> it hasn't. It, it, it. You're not blowing, and it's still making noise. Uh, I'll take a look around, and as I look at this palace, I grow very still, and I I look over at dusk. Wait, what? dusk, dawn. Sorry, dawn. Okay, dawn. Dawn is, is like kind of coming out of there, playing in, looks up at you. Is this, is this the place I think it is? You don't see dawn's eyes go wide because their hat covers them. Oh, yeah. The dawn becomes very still. Everyone be very careful. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this one bit. I'm going to this. The, no, no, this we can't be here. It's gone. Recognize this. Do you recognize it, Thierry? Were you here? I think I've ever been here before. You might have heard tales. This is where, where the rebellion won, but at great cost. Some think too great. More costs than one, too. Perhaps. So many prices. I, I don't want to be here. Let's go back. And I turn around and the clouds just go into the eternity there uh, is i got an idea what if we turn around and we're in front of the palace yes <laughs> and there it is yes <laughs> please <laughs> hold on i would like to play the mirror mm-hmm. and as people are like trying to turn back we are going to be surrounded by heavy heavy rain except it flows up and it's flowing up so so much in such quantities that's actually showing your actual reflection so for each one of you i'm going to ask what about your reflection unnerves you Mm. oh my gosh i would say that my reflection reflects uh, much like we've discussed who I thought I was going to be. I thought I would be a renowned professor and I never was. Mm. Mm. Uh, that, sorry. That reflection is going to reach out. Um, I'm trying to think of what's 
important to what's what is physically important to a professor well i have my important object is a is a pen given to me by a student okay so this they will reach out a book with with a title of something that you long were working on but stopped okay and they're reaching through the rain at you. No, I don't want it. I'm not going to take it. Mm -hmm. All right. Next, who? What about your reflection on nerves? Uh, my reflection has a hardened face, a hardened expression, as though one who has cut themselves off from others. And also looks significantly younger. Oh. What would be a physical thing that embodies this? Hmm. Uh, well, I'll play off of what Chad was saying. I, I carry with me an almanac given by my cheerful brother who died in the rebellion and also a dried out orchid that is my last memory of the rebellion. So maybe something with, I feel like this is where my brother died. This? Raphael. They, Raphael. They will reach out with a couple of Raphael's favorite flowers and they give off a strong scent of him. I'm going to touch it. Okay. I'll reach out. Okay. Who's next? Kiara's reflection is playing that one, uh, that one instrument. Um, I'm going to say it's kind of a, some kind of lute or something. The one instrument they could never master, mm. no matter how freaking hard they tried. And this <laughs> reflection is just mastering it. Mm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> like, why this, wasn't that me? <laughs> this reflection will, will reach out with another loop, almost inviting you to come play a duet. And Don. All right. One more shot. <laughs> the reflection of Don is um, basically what Don would have been if his uh, the fire for the rebellion didn't die out for them, uh, which is not a great thing. Um, they stand up straighter. They don't have the hat covering their face. Um, they're holding a spear and like lightly armored. And uh, Don immediately is like trying, is like almost caught in the state before, between the kind of like fear paralysis that possums put them in and like trying to flee. Mm. Um, so he's or you can tell that they're trying to move backwards away from what they're seeing but they can't let me ask you what would be more effective if they reached out a literal olive branch or they reached out a spear of your own i think if they've reached out an olive branch because i think don would think that that's that's a lie and that's a trick mm. Okay, then they they will do the one that is the most convincing. And uh, I will I think that since Donatello grabbed for it, they immediately flow upstream. Mm. And yeah, Thierry actually did reach out for the loot to try to like okay one more shot at this. 
Mm. You immediately flow upstream. Oh, wow. Okay. And those mirages just disappear. They're holding on to you until you reach your uh, Ooh. destination. Okay. Well, I hold on even tighter. Mm. Uh, I say, Raphael, don't let go. Oh. It doesn't right. take very long. But I'm going to like... chase them by wing if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 no. Oh, one second now. Mm. What does Dusk see? Oh. Yeah. What is I'm playing? I'm playing the mirror. <laughs> but Dusk is still there. He's still there. You He's can play like against it. yourself. That's fine. Uh, or I can play the. Or one of us can play the mirror, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, I will release in a second. I just wanted to say that Thierry and Donatello, you guys end up getting reined into a giant water fountain in front of this palace. Mm. Oh wow. All right, now I released the mirror. <laughs> so what about your reflection or does this reflection unnerves him? Oh uh, um I think I'm gonna say it's not a reflection of him. It is it is what he thinks his mom looks like. <laughs> who she thinks who he thinks she is. And like this amalgamation of like what all moms are from like other people in the city and stories that his dad dad told him. And so she's like 20 feet tall and can do anything and <laughs> just immediately like doesn't care if it's water or not and just runs into it and gives her a big giant hug. And also flies up, apparently. <laughs> 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 you hear this all the way. Whee! <sighs> Dawn is alone. <laughs> yeah. Aww. And he just kind of stands in place, staring at the stoppelganger. And I think I think we should leave Don for a moment. <laughs> Moment. Okay. You sure? Don't. Rune flies up after everyone without taking the the book from his reflection. Mm. For very good reason, but <laughs> ooh, can I? Mm. Mm. So, oh yes, it is a water fountain in the courtyard. And I want to say to make this less morose and to kind of call back a little bit the mysterious lights. Mm-hmm. If they might they might be fireworks. Mm-hmm. It might be thunder. It's hard to tell at this distance. Yeah. Well, I think this is ultimately a place of healing. Mm-hmm. So it makes sense that there would be good things here. Yeah. <clears throat> Mom. Oh. Mom. Mom. Uh, I think Donatello. I I feel like it appears to every to each of us that like the other person's mirage is very obviously fake. Hmm. But the one that you that is yours looks very real. Is hmm. that something we're okay with? Yeah, I'm I like that. It. Yeah. I would say, oh, that that's not your mother. Huh? That's my mom. Oh, I'm sorry, but no, it's just a trick. This place is playing on you. So. I miss my mom. Oh, that's okay. You can play with her. Mm. You want to play? I'm sure, too? she would like that. Uh, I'll like look over tennis. at Raphael. Uh, yes, yes, maybe we could. Oh, yay! Oh, um, oh, let's play cards. Oh, it's not oh. what I thought. Sure. Mom, you want to play cards? 
your Terry, want to play cards? Terry, you see, Terry deals in imagery and um, vision, if you will, mm. on the regular. It's kind of what they do. Mm -hmm. So how are you reacting to uh, all these reflections? As I'm seeing the others as false, I look to the other the other travelers. What we saw was for each of us alone, I think. I, I think you're right. This place is not, it shows us what we most desire, but, but maybe that's a gift. Maybe we can stay here and, and be with those we, we love the most. Well, can, or it, can those things be still with us, even though we may or may not ever again see the reflections if this is all that is available i will take it oh, what we once desired isn't necessarily what we need ah! <laughs> <laughs> how'd you get here <laughs> i'm just kind of hovering <laughs> because i haven't turned upside down to hit into the fountain <laughs> <laughs> why are you upside down <laughs> <laughs> We're done. Done. Uh, grappling far more uh, difficult issues than uh, you seem to be blessed with. Mm. Ryan, you go keep Dawn company, please. Thank you, Orion. As a note, not that we really know how to use them, but we do all have one token from that uh, yeah. ans answering something uh, about your reflection that unnerves you. Oh, nice. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm going to spend my token. Mm. Uh, when you guys are done your scene, I'm going to spend my token. I would ask that you do not retrieve Don during the scene. <laughs> okay. Is it okay that Orion's coming to you? That is absolutely fine, yes. Okay. Uh, well, so Rune has just said that perhaps the things we want we don't need. What did you say? Well, we what we desire. once desired isn't what we need. Mm. Uh, you've been quite wise until now. But I sense that perhaps you can't understand. Mm -hmm. This is something beyond. It is out of the realm of the textbook. Have you ever lost any one room? So, so many. Would you not give anything to have them back? even as a reflection? If I had them back, then they wouldn't have done what they did, and what they did was very important. Damn it, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Donatello will look at Raphael and then kind of shake their head. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can I... Can I pull you guys out of that scene yep. for a moment? Yeah. Um, this is actually perfect that Orion, let's say, is reaching Dawn at this point. <sighs> what are the actions that the firelight can do? Illuminate that is all that is hard to see. And, you know, generally help others see their way. So... Dusk, I think, unknowingly 
is doing that for Dawn. Oh, uh, so cute. By sending Orion back, Dawn ha- has a moment where they think that it's Aurora. Mm. And since Aurora is miraculous and a lightning dancer, I think a crash of lightning interrupts the silence of this place. As Aurora finds a way to enter after us. Yeah. And I think the the light is enough to dissipate the doppelganger in front of Don. And Don kind of takes a deep breath. Looks around, looks at Orion. Where are they? And uh, I think the three of them end up just, just running full tilt towards the palace in the distance. Mm. Nice. Excellent. Yeah. So sorry. Please go back to your scene. No, that's great. Oh, Don beautiful. will be there shortly. Out of breath and frustrated. <laughs> and we'll just be here playing cards. Yeah, I'm playing philosophy teacher, which is yeah. what I'm supposed to do. So <laughs> oh, wait, no, wait. There was another thing I wanted to do related to the lightning. I completely forgot about it. I would like to ask you all, at least the ones who are enamored with this doppelganger. With the, the lightning and the disruption, mm. what do you see in your reflection that you do not like? Mm. Or what do you see in this reflection or the doppelganger, I think, for our purposes that you do not like? Oh my gosh. Mm. So maybe that's the, that could even be the mirage action. Um, so almost deciding if something you see in front of you is real. Mm. I feel like there's something based on what Rune was saying about, well, if you if you take away the loss of someone, it prevents all of these other things. Like perhaps Raphael died saving someone else, just a random person. Mm-hmm. And with that flash of lightning, I see like that person having died, like kind of them through, through Raphael and in that instant, like getting a glimpse of, of all of the repercussions of that and that family's grief, finding out about it and all of those things. Will I carry the grief or will it make someone else? Mm-hmm. You get a token either way. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I got to find, find that page where I can spin these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. one, one sec. I'll be right back. I'm trying to decide. Oh, this might be accidentally very emo. Shit. (laughs) Do it intentionally. (laughs) Okay. All right. So when that happens, you know, Dusk is really cozied up and and truly doesn't care if this is real or not. It's it's just a beautiful moment. The weird thing that he doesn't like, it's not something that he sees, it's something that he hears. He hears like the two heartbeats, like kind of going back to when he was like a little kitten, just like near his mom and, you know, could hear her purr and her thing. It He doesn't like it because it is a memory of something that he'll never have again. It's like too real. Yeah. The too good to be true. Mm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, all the feels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think this is punctuated by the sound of Don just yelling defiantly as he runs up while still while also somehow gasping for breath. <laughs> I have an idea when you arrive, maybe. 
and like he or they kind of I think hit the edge of the pond and go flying. <laughs> <laughs> like startles us out of our reverie. Yeah, it breaks up the reflection a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. It starts to waver. See, because now you're the right way up, I'm able to turn myself and <laughs> Yes. It's a lot of flying. <laughs> what what folklore did we say again for graveyard? Mm, there are the folklore for the graveyard is the day the dead danced with us. Mm, okay. The day the dead danced with us, the palace of Saccharine Dead, and the last one, the very, uh, the very edge, of edge of the world itself. Uh, okay. All right. We are basically at the edge of consciousness. Mm-hmm. Edge of reality, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's not the edge of the actual world. It's the edge of, you know, it's not the edge of the land so much as it's the edge of, of, of conscious reality. Yeah. Well, and where our consciousness is meeting, that's an edge. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. When is Dawn there with the firelights? Yes. Dawn, I missed you. <gasps> Dawn, right. hey. Dawn kind of pulls himself themselves up out of the water because they crashed in and looks up at Dusk mm-hmm. and I think the fact even though Dusk is like being like oh hi can kind of tell immediately that you have kind of become upset with what's happened moments ago mm-hmm. and he walks up and does the thing that they almost never do which is just walks up and hugs Dusk. Because they can tell that Dusk is upset. Even though Dusk seems to be trying to kind of mask it a little bit. Oh, you're going to make me cry. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Dawn. He immediately just like hugged back like, oh, you okay, buddy? What happens to the reflection of your mom when you turn and hug someone real? I think much probably to his heartbreak, the reflection fades, but it's not a fade. He, the reflection dissipates into thousands of moths and butterflies and just flies off. Yeah. It's my, she smiles before she goes because she sees you're safe. She gives a little kiss. Yeah. Oh my God, my soul. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. That's going to make me legit cry. <laughs> How's uh, Tierra's uh, duet going? Tierra is, yeah, that's a good question because Tierra is now bound and determined because they're actually like seeing techniques off of the reflection <laughs> and like picking them up <laughs> and uh yeah um oh man wait so if you're engaging with your reflection does that cause something wonky like that you kind of like do you change places with the doppelganger or like this more of you're engaging mm. you're learning from it you're absorbing it does that do mm. something definitely you know like i said absorbing the kind of the knowledge and as i think as the 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 knowledge and the i you know the the technique and such sort of transfer the the reflection starts to fade Okay. Mm. I feel like you tr- you tried to learn this so many times that all of this was probably just in you the whole time. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. I had an instructor who was one of these my way or the highway instructors and 
didn't really work with kind of what worked best for the student. Mm -hmm. And so it was there all along, but it was never right because yeah, it, because uh, the instructor basically declared it was wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now you get to teach yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. But like the reflection stay, you know, kind of fades off, but the but the that kind of unlocked that uh, those methods again. Mm. I think Donna Shello is very aware now of of what's going on and sees dusk and dawn uh, and and the catharsis there, and and he's going to turn to everybody and look back at Raphael and say, I can't do this alone. Mm. Uh, I think Rune is gonna fly over and, and like hop over in the fountain and say, uh, us, us old folks will uh, we'll help each other out. Mm. Yes, our pasts live in the, in the past. Mm. And what is meant to stay of those we loved stays with us. Mm. It yes. may not be obvious, but they are always, those we've lost are in their ways always with us. Mm. Cool. Yes. Could you do me a favor? In my back pocket, there's an almanac. It's quite old. Raphael gave it to me and I've kept it all these years, but it's, it's out of date. I think, I think maybe I don't need it anymore. I will take it out and hand it to you. Uh, Aurora. Little Ryan, could you take this away for me? Oh, perfect. I would like, to, I'm, this might be weird. You could, whatever, I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm now going to play the graveyard. Uh, Aurora, so I feel like the more dust cries, the harder Dawn is hugging them, which is making them cry even more. Mm -hmm. And Aurora and Orion do take the almanac. But what people didn't notice is that the top of this fountain, there is a statue. And as Dusk and Dawn place this almanac in the statue's open palm hands, mm. they fly into the statue's eyes. Bringing it to life. Oh. Ah, my children. Beautiful healing. Are you ready to celebrate? I hope you are. From there, um, you see the doors open doors to the palace. Tiare, Donashello, Dawn, Dusk, please go dance, ruin, before you can enter, who have to tell the story, that one story, only you can tell. Mm. Well, what I saw was 
someone I could have been, which was uh, a renowned professor. But a very long time ago, I made a promise with a demon. Uh, it was a deal, a trade, uh, that I would never, ever be renowned. But I did that for a very good reason. Uh, I was teaching radical and rebellious politics in secret to people who ended up doing great things for the rebellion. And because I could never be renowned, I could also never get caught. Mm. So by giving up that opportunity for myself, I was able to create opportunities for others. Oh, child. Beautiful child. You are renowned. You echo in the hearts of everyone you touched. They are waiting for you in the ballroom. Go, dance, be free. Do not fear any demon. They will protect you. Bye. And with that, uh, Orion and Aurora come out of the eyes and go back to dawn and dusk. And these doors have opened up? They, they, yes, they are beautiful, beautiful, ornate doors. Not a scratch on them, oddly. Mm. Mm. I'm picturing this, and this is now like metagaming to decide kind of how we want to play this mm -hmm. <laughs> picturing this as like it's showing then like it's like a multi-fractured mirror of like lots of different versions of ourselves yeah, but it yeah. is in this like dancing joyful way of the invitation is to dance with all of the lives we might have lived knowing that like it's good the one we have mm -hmm. oh my god i'd love that my soul <laughs> Ah, my soul. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what that would look like for each of us, but mm. yeah. It's definitely very, very pleasant experience, I think. There's mm. uh, a lot of, you know, um, and that's something Rune will say that we, we often live with regret of decisions we could have made or things we could have done differently, but we are where we are and uh, we're here for a reason and all the choices we made got us here. And uh, it's good that we can be okay with that. Yeah. But just well. for one night, we can <laughs> dance with who we might have been. Exactly. Dawn size. Takes one of the cigarettes from his pack, <laughs> lights it up, squares their their shoulders. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we'll go inside, or I'm Indeed. going inside. Rune is yeah. going inside, and he'll dance oh, yeah. and be merry. Yeah. The oh, only yeah. reason Don doesn't find this all highly suspicious is it was partly catalyzed by Aurora. And <laughs> 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 Otherwise, they would be like, no. Mm, no, mm, I'm not mm. doing that. That's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> in D&D, &D, it would be a trap. In Wander Home, it's an invitation to healing. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, yeah, Don the Shallow Boogies. Oh, now yeah. The question is, is it an actual dance or, or are we waking up mm. or are we continuing in this mirror world? What is that? Uh... I think we dance until we wake up. Yeah. Into Aww. wakefulness. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Do we wake up on the boat or do we wake up somewhere else? Maybe we wake up as the boat is hitting the shore. Mm. Leading it can only last as journey. long as we're on the lake. Mm. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. If we're still in that lake, yeah. I don't know. We could have traveled. Yeah. Who knows? 
<sighs> to the road to wherever our next destination is. That was so cute. Yeah, I feel satisfied. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> oh. Oh, and wow. only slightly horrific for Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's funny because for Tiere, it wasn't so much about letting go of what was in the past, but letting go of what they basically taken on to satisfy hmm. somebody, try and satisfy somebody else. Right. It was less about like letting go of the past and, and, and taking a different view or what you want out of the past, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that was beautiful. Mm. I did not know what to expect with all of our gothic stuff, but it still ended up adorable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only wholesome here. <laughs> that's, that's the thing with Wander Home, though. It can do uh, that. It can totally uh, do that. Yeah. When Dustin Dawn hugged. Oh, my uh, God. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. So I was also trying to add a little bit of little bit of a uh, lore mystery there that Dusk mm-hmm. and Dawn somehow gave rise to a voice of something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who knows? I like it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Isn't that, wasn't the whole thing we decided is that they might be catalysts or chosen ones or something? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Something. Well, and and firelights are supposed to lead people places, right? That's mm-hmm. like their whole thing, and you're leading us places, so it yeah. works really well. Yeah. 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 Okay, great. Well, then we just have to come back and do this again. Absolutely. <laughs> exactly. Uh, anything we want to do before we end the stream? I don't think so. Uh, thank I people for watching if they decided anything. to watch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think, and establish that every time there's dawn, dusk and dawn in a game, it's more or less going to be. The goal is going to be to try and get a lot to like happy cry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. it's not that hard with this game. It just has those moments of, like this is so I know, beautiful. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it really is. Awesome. Well, thank you guys all for playing. Absolutely. And I'm sure thank we will do too. this again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That. Okay. Bye. Sweet dreams. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs>